What is the value of a dollar? If Oklahoma high school students don't already know, they better figure it out in time for graduation. A law was passed in 2007 that takes effect this year. Students must show an understanding of finances in order to graduate. Amy Lee of the Oklahoma Council on Economic Education helped build the curriculum and says students are engaged because it applies to their future. The thing with personal finance education is it's the most relevant subject that a student is going to receive. They will definitely be using this. Some of the things students are learning about include filing their taxes, how to manage a bank account, and what to do if they overdraft on a debit card. But the curriculum goes beyond the basics. A total of 14 standards are being taught in the classroom. There's not a test to be taken. Um, it's just that they have to master the 14 standards and have satisfactory completion of them. It's not the easiest class you'll think it is. It, people say, oh, it's just a little money. I can save it easily. But it's not as easy as most people think it'll be. Lee says teachers have already begun implementing the standards in the classroom and students at Norman High School tell me they're already learning the value of a dollar. In Norman, Amy Slanchik, OU Knightley.